Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and most importantly, the incredible black students of Cambridge University. Thank you so much, Lord Woolley, for having me here and asking me to be part of your Black History Month and part of your celebration. It's such an honor for me to be here, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I'm thrilled to be here and honored to pass through the halls of this prestigious institution. And as I walked through the corridors just now, I couldn't help but draw a parallel to my experiences on the catwalk <laughs> and see things like seeing like both realms demand an impeccable balance and focus and determination and the ability to gracefully handle unexpected obstacles. Whether it's rogue heel or it's a particularly challenging research problem, we models and scholars understand the art of making it seem all effortless. Mm -hmm. Regardless of whether we're a fresher starting your journey or a senior nearing graduation, you have an extraordinary opportunity, but perhaps even more importantly, you have an exceptional support team and a system in Lord Simon Woolley. <laughs> and in each other, this network of support will be your hidden advantage for both on the campus and in your lifetimes. I've traveled the globe and met countless of people, and yet the ones who hold a special place in my heart are those who supported me during my pivotal phases of growth. They formed support system and primed me for what I consider my most vital mission ensuring that the creatives of color find representation in all facets of the fashion industry. The fashion industry is incredibly and extremely competitive. And as a black woman, I had to surmount to a lot of additional obstacles. And I swiftly became apparent to me that despite the success myself and fellow black models were achieving, that our presence on magazine covers and in advertising were disproportionately scarce. So I felt compelled to take action. I've never been one to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> so alongside my dear friends, Bethann Hardison and Iman Bowie, we established a diversity coalition to address some of these issues and challenges. And while we've been sustaining strides, substantial strides, there remains to be a lot of work to be done ahead. But many standards, I'm often, by many standards, I'm often labeled as successful. Much as you are today, based on where you sit and at this very moment in your life. But what defines success? And how do we know if we've achieved success? I wanna share a life lesson that I've been through and it's been my North Star throughout my career. Success and failure are concepts that you must personally define. And the key to make success is attainable path and failure to a difficult option. Success and failure should not hinge on where you went to school, right. the job that you have, or how much money you make. Mm. For me, success is giving it everything you've got pouring your heart and soul into your dreams. Conversely, failure is not even trying. It is simply a simple yet profound, impactful notion. Those who know me and understand what I've been about, that I've been, what I've been fighting for tirelessly, for what matters to me, when I embark on an adventure, I invest every ounce of my being, mm -hmm. my commitment to making it work. Right. And as long as you make the effort you will never fail. Right. For me, in my view, inaction is failure. Yes, yes. So my message to all of you is simple. Continue to support one another, because that is so important. Continue to dream big, and always give it everything that you've got. Right. Together, you are a force to be reckoned with. You are a force to be reckoned <laughs> with with this man. <laughs> and you can achieve anything. Let your dreams be your compass and also your determination to your guiding star. I want to thank you for affording me and having me here tonight. It's such an honor. 
And Simon, thank you so much, Lord you. Simon Woolley, thank you. for your unwavering support. He has been so supportive to me when there'll be many times when I thought I just wanted to give up. Right. And mm -hmm. for this unwavering support of extraordinary young men and women tonight, you, right. this is about you, mm -hmm. your future shines brightly and it rests within your capable hands. And believe me, master your craft and your unwavering confidence, and the world will become your oyster. Thank you so much. <laughs>